I think, uh, quite frankly, we know uh, pretty much everything we need to know about how to teach kids to read. Uh, the challenge is is not really a challenge of, of psycholinguistic or developmental uh, research. It's a challenge for implementation research. The challenge of figuring out how we can support parents, how we can support teachers, um, how we can reorganize schools to make sure that the things we know work actually get done. And, and so that's a, it's not a, a research program that is, has to do with teaching, uh, how to teach reading. It's a research program that has to do with how to change the systems in which reading is taught. That's cool. Perfect. It's perfect for me as I'm an applied researcher interested in changing the schools and this. There you go. And that's it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Partnerships, that's the key. Yeah. And and bring evidence to the classroom, right? Yeah, right. But the evidence is so I mean I think, I think you have to bring evidence to resources that influence the classroom. Right. I think just telling teachers what the evidence is doesn't actually that's important. work. But helping them to embed implement that. that, embed the evidence into resources that support them in doing that work, whether they understand the evidence fully or not. So what you're saying to me is that it's very important to build new programs based on evidence and to support the teachers during implementation and the daily activities that they do. And to go into the schools and figure out what are the obstacles that are keeping the teachers from doing it the way you think it should be done, because they're not... If they're not implementing it optimally, it's, it's probably not, in most cases, because they refuse to. It's because there's some la lack of good design in the resources that keeps them from... Like uh, spending too so much time doing paperwork or For example, yeah. or, or lack of uh, accessibility of the guidelines in the curricular materials, or lack of guidance about what you do with the kids who already know how to read who are raising hell over in the corner while you're teaching these who don't. So lack of, uh, lack of control over the context in which it's implemented, um, which is often, uh, I mean, I think most, of, most first grade teachers could, could take a single child and teach that child to read. <laughs> The challenge, when you have 30. the challenge is you have 30 and they're at all different levels, then that's when they need a lot of help.